Cron is one of the most common ways to handle scheduled recurring jobs, but its syntax is quite cryptic. Take these examples on this Wikipedia article, for example. We have um, this one right here. Does this command run uh, every minute, or is it every first minute of every hour, or is it it's actually the first minute of every day? Uh, this command right here actually runs every two hours, but trying to understand all this and uh, making sure you add the right number of asterisks and so on can be quite confusing. Not only this, but cron jobs are often specific to a given application, so it would be nice to manage them within an application instead of directly on the server. Well, this is where the whenever gem comes into play. I use this gem in just about every Rails application, and it's a convenient way to manage your cron tasks directly in Ruby, so you get a nice syntax for defining how often a given task should occur, and also some convenient commands that you can use to execute given tasks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's see how we can add whenever to an application. First, go into your gem file and add the whenever gem there, and then specify the require option and set it to false, because we don't really want to use whenever directly in the Rails application. And then inside of your project, just run the bundle command to install that gem. And then you can set up whenever in your project by calling whenevereize, and this command you may want to prefix it with a bundle exec for it to run properly and then that will create a schedule.rb file under the config directory. So here's what that generated file looks like, and it has some nice documentation here in the comments, but let's just clear this out because we want to write some of our own tasks in here. Let's say we want to clear some cache file every 15 minutes. What we could do is say every 15 minutes, and then pass in a block into here, and then we can say run a command such as uh, remove, and we can pass in any uh, path in here, to access our project path, we can actually pass in the path into here like this, and then say we want to remove something under the temp cache directory, maybe some kind of file inside of here. And then that will remove that file every 15 minutes. Now at any time, you can see what the output for cron would be by running the whenever command inside of your project. And you probably want to prefix this with bundle exec as well. So here's the output for that command. You can see it will run that command every 15 minutes. Now there are a variety of other ways to specify schedules through whenever. For example, we could say every Sunday at uh, 4.28 a.m. Uh, let's do, uh, let's clear some abandoned carts. And maybe this is a class method. We could say a uh, runner to run some Ruby code, say cart.clear abandoned. And uh, this will load up the Rails environment and then run this bit of, of Ruby code. Or you might say on every reboot, uh, let's uh, run a rake task of starting Thinking Sphinx. So Thinking Sphinx start, and that way every time the server starts up, it'll run that rake task. And now when we run the whenever command again, you can see that it properly translates each of those to the proper cron syntax. And it automatically handles running through the uh, runner, or going through rake, and so on. So we don't have to mess with any of that. Now it's nice to keep a log of all the outputs of these commands. And you can do that with a call to set output and then specify any path. And uh, you can say it should be under the path of the Rails application under the log slash, uh, let's make a log called cron.log. That way everything will be logged into that file. And you can see that again through the whenever command that all of the command output will be appended to that cron.log file. Now it's even possible to create your own job types. Whenever it comes with three of them, command, runner, and rake, but if you run something else frequently, you might want to make your own job type. For example, let's say we have a lot of scripts inside of this script directory here that we like to run through cron. You could make a new job type here, and then let's call it script, and then for the, the path of this, it should go under the path of the project, under the script directory here, and then inside of whatever the task they provide. And we can do that with colon task. That will be the task that they provide. And then we can output whatever output they provide here as well. So this means you can now simply call script here and then pass in the name of a script such as generate report. And then that will be passed in as a task up here and everything will be output like you expect. And you can see that by running the whenever command again and this right here is that generate report call that goes through that script directory. Now once you have your schedules all set up the way you like it, how do you deploy it to the server? Well, it's really easy if you're using Capistrano, 
all you have to do is go to your deploy.rb file and add a couple lines into here. Looks like this. Uh, the first line here tells it to execute the whenever command through bundler, which you likely want to do. And then the second command here just adds a Capistrano task to a, a write to the cron tab every time you deploy. And that's it. Next time you deploy, everything will be set up automatically for you. As you can see, whenever is a great way to manage your cron jobs directly inside of your Rails application all through Ruby. But cron isn't the best solution for every kind of scheduled job. Uh, if something run, needs to run very frequently, or maybe it's a long running task, then you may want to look into some alternatives. If you're using Redis and Rescue to manage a job queue, like I showed in episode 271, be sure to check out the Rescue Scheduler. This is a persistent process which basically just handles jobs on a scheduled task using Redis and Rescue. A nice advantage of this is that you can see the, uh, the status of your, your jobs through the web UI that Rescue provides. Now Rescue Scheduler is built on top of this gem called Rufus Scheduler, so if you aren't using Rescue and you want a more generic solution, uh, be sure to check out this gem. Another gem to check out is the Clockwork gem. This works with a variety of queuing engines and provides a very nice syntax much like uh, the Whenever gem. Well, that's it for this episode on the Whenever gem. Really great project. Hope you find it useful.